people welcome back into the studio this month for artsy second sunday i'm gonna be working in this very large magazine that i've altered into a journal so it is uh, a magazine journal that i have just glued like three of the newspaper prints um, pages together to make them uh, heavier to withstand what I'm gonna be putting throwing at it so I am really excited because I'm almost done with this I think I have three layouts one two yeah three layouts um, left including this one to work in the thing I love about this is the wrinkles I get from the paper so let's get started So I'm going to get started with some decoupaging. I am going to be using these papers that are all from jelly prints and they're done on different types of copy paper and some of them are done on deli paper. Using a jelly plate as my palette and a brayer, I am now going to start adding some texture to the background just using some found items. I've now pulled out some gel printing um, pieces of paper that are in a variety of types of paper but are more of a bright color, more of a floral. And I've just ripped these up in a petal into petal shapes and I'm gonna get those decoupage down.
I've pulled out these King Art gel sticks. They're mixed media crayons. Um, these are new, a new product for me, and they are awesome. Um, I've been watching uh, Chelsea use them over the last year, and they're so creamy. They're nothing like what I don't like about a lot of the art crayons out there is that they um, are not waxy. They're like the consistency of lipstick and they are water soluble, but these are light fast. And a lot of the art crayons out there, with the exception of maybe the Neo Color 2s, um, they are not light fast. And so I really like that about these. I love the um, stick itself. You, It has a, like a little grip on it. And yeah, I can't say enough. I may have gone overboard and gotten the whole 72 set color set. But yeah, try these out. I'm not enabling you though. All right, I came in with a Posca pen and just kind of defined some of those vine uh, stem lines. And now I'm coming in with a Stabilo All in black and just doing some outlining and shading. So you'll see I'll come in with a Stabilo and then I'll come in with a uh, water brush. Now that I have all those outlined, I'm going to come in in a few specific areas and just push back the background a little bit with this white gesso because I'm going to be coming in with a really cool product here that is so much fun. So these are the Dress My Craft Transfer Me Sheets, and this one is in the Bees and Flies. I do carry this in my, in my uh, store. Uh, so I have decided to cut out a few of these bees and add them buzzing around since next month is National Bee Month. So it's really easy. You just take off the plastic sheet on the top, turn them upside down a little bit of water until they're soaked through and then lay them down and that back piece of paper just slides right off. So easy and yet just a nice little pop on the page. Now this pen is also something I just discovered uh, when I was doing the um, Wendy Silganics Bookmaker Collective Little Willow workshop. Um, this is a Higgins Brush Magic Pen. So it's a Higgins Black Magic pen in the brush style is what it really is and I will of course include the link down below um, of all the products I've used in this but this is like a new discovery for me and I really love the black matte that you get off of this pen and uh, just watch as I use it gorgeous It is water soluble, so you do have to keep that in mind, but it really is lovely to add a little bit of water to it, like I am here with this brush, and move it around.
right, so now I've just pulled out my giblet basket and I am just looking for things to use to layer up for my sentiment that's gonna go on this page. And I, sometimes I like to use a piece of um, unused deli paper as my base because I can get it to blend in kind of and so that's what I decided since I'm going to be layering a lot of different papers bits uh, uh, together to make the background of this I decided to go ahead and do that on some deli paper In some areas of the world, you have the opportunity to host a hive. And I will put uh, some information down below in the description box of how you can look into hosting a hive. Buddha Bee Apiary in North Carolina um, is doing that service. So when you host a hive, you have it on your property somewhere and they come out and they care for the bees and then you get half of the honey from your actual hive. So that's honey from the plants and floral and fauna in your neighborhood. So consider looking into um, this as a possibility. I think it's an awesome thing to do to help the bees. Mm -hmm. 